There it is. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, look nice. at this. Wow. This is beautiful. It is just <laughs> awesome. Wow. It really is awesome. Michael is 14 years old again. <laughs> yes. I love this car. It's never over. <laughs> Getting pretty exciting right now. Um, Don and Michael called and said they're about four minutes away. And this is kind of thrilling for me because, again, a huge fan of Don Coscarelli and Michael Baldwin. They, they do my kind of movies. Uh, love the Phantasm with the Cuda in it. Oh, and there they are actually right there. Absolutely enthralled that the guys are here. And I will be the first to admit, I know I'm ice cold most of the time, but I was nervous. I was biting my nails. Nice so. to see you. Hey, Mark. Michael, my friend. Uh, my name is Don Coscarelli, and I'm a uh, filmmaker, writer, director, and producer. My first big success was a movie called Phantasm, which led to uh, several sequels, Phantasm 2, II, Phantasm 3, and Phantasm 4 Oblivion. My name is A. Michael Baldwin, and uh, I am a writer and a producer out of Austin, Texas, and a sometimes actor. Um, the most uh, famous thing uh, that I've been involved in is a series of films called Phantasm. And uh, I started making these movies with my buddy Don Coscarelli when we were both a lot younger. I think I started when I was 13. Um, starring in Phantasm, we've made a bunch of sequels. There it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Look nice. at this. wow. I'm going to say it takes your breath away. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Wow. It's got the elastomeric bumpers. Uh -huh. The vinyl top real, really wow. looks sweet. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. The louver windows. Yeah. It's got the wing. This is beautiful. It is just <laughs> awesome. Wow. It really is awesome. First off, I was supremely flattered that someone would go and take something out of one of my movies and invest so much time and money. Uh, but I know that Mark had a client who was really intent and and willing to uh, support this thing. And it's just a, a, a pretty awesome concept. This is beautiful. It is just <laughs> awesome. Wow. It really is awesome. Oh, I'm driving that car. I don't need to convince anybody. I'm, I'm going to get in that car and drive it. Well, you know what? Let me throw it back to Michael. Let's go. Let's, let, let's show off your talents. Let's go. Can you still drive this Love car? It. You know, growing up Mopar and having driven some of the coolest cars on the planet, Hemis and six packs, convertibles, my 71 Phantasm homage car has gotta be one of my favorites from a fun standpoint. It was just plain fun. We did try to stick to OE appearance on everything, but at the same time, it was a tribute car, so I had a little bit of latitude on it. Michael is 14 years old again. <laughs> yes. I love this car. Driving around in the 71 Phantasm Cuda with uh, Michael Baldwin and Don Coscarelli, to say it's surreal is, is probably an understatement. Might even have pinched myself a couple times to make sure I wasn't dreaming. I mean, this is cool stuff. This is the kind of stuff that when I'm an old man sitting in a rocking chair on my porch someday, I can look back of the things that I've done and, and know in my heart and in my mind, I'm probably a handful of guys in the entire world that have experienced Mopar as much as a Mopar could be experienced. This has just been nothing but fantastic journey, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Uh, the CUDA was awesome. I mean, seeing it, uh, it's more than just triple black. I might call it, call it quintuple black. You've got the black bubble, you've got the black body, you've got the billboards, you've got the black louvers, the black elastomerics. It's freaking awesome. I love this car. It drives like a car that you don't get to drive anymore. It's, it, it's a genuine muscle car, and you feel it. A lot of fun. Super cool. They, uh, Mark, obviously, and this whole team, they did a great job. What do I think about Darren? Well, he's a nice guy. How come we don't sign the cars when we work on them? Who cares <laughs> about you? <laughs> Nobody likes a narcissist. All right. Here you go, Don. So, uh, Cascarelli, when are we making Phantasm V anyway? Are you up to it? <laughs> yeah. From your lips to the tall man's ears. You heard it here Is first. Is that a yes? <laughs> You'll have to figure that out for yourself. Just remember, it's never over. Uh, seeing the kind of work that comes out of graveyard cars, 
definitely gets my eyes open as to if I ever have a car that I want to get into some serious restoration, this would be probably the first place that I would start. It's been a really great day here at Graveyard Cars. Uh, having Don and Michael up has just been such a, a cool treat for everybody. I know we got a lot of signatures, uh, told some good stories. I learned a lot about the backstory on Phantasm. How do you like the car? I'm loving this car. Beautiful car. I've been waiting for them to get back. They had asked me if they could take the car for a drive about 10 minutes ago, and I said, yeah. How far is it to LA? I'd say about 1,000 miles. I don't know if they're uh, if the car's actually acting up or you know you kind of get worried but I don't have a cell phone for him. You're thinking what I'm thinking? Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. What about Mark? He'll be all right. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> what I'll do is I'll end up just uh, going inside and seeing if I can send him a quick email or.